I'm here better to explain how to make use of um, shortcuts on Plan Swift software. Let's first start with on how to copy item of work. For example, if you want to copy this item of work, this apron blinding, first click on it. Then first, let me show you guys something on the screen keyboard on your laptop keyboard is the shift you have alt 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 control shift delete page or page down this escape and this delete okay so firstly you want to copy click on the item of work press control c click outside to paste it Press Ctrl plus V. If you want to paste it as a uh, paste section into a new item, if you want to paste it as new item, click on this, press OK. So to undo what you've done, press Ctrl plus Z. Can you see now? That would be Ctrl plus z minimizes so now if you want to move any item of work as you've done like this like this or anyone just click we first click on it now press click on alt you hold it plus left click on your mouse and move it can you see and move it I turn it back to the normal position to delete. If you want to delete any item of work, once you click on it, just press when you click on it, just press this delete. You just press this delete. You understand? So it just starts. I told you it. Click on it, press delete to so undo it. Ctrl plus Z. So we are done. Delete to zoom. For example, if you want to zoom this area, press um F10. Highlight it from left hand side. Drop it. Can you see? If you if you wanted to want to zoom it to fit to page, like once um. What you have zoom already to be in normal position. You want the page to reset to normal position. You want to fit it to page to normal page. You press F7. F7 to return to normal position. That is to that is fit to page F7. So to scroll down, I mean to scroll down like this. Scroll down like this. Just check this. Now check it. If you want to scroll down, you want to scroll down this our page. Press D. If you want it to be active, just you first press and click on this page. After clicking on it, now press D. Can you see this? Can you see this? To scroll up, you press E. Scroll down D to scroll left and right. To scroll left, press X. Just check this one again. To scroll left, I mean right, you press F. Left is S, right is F. So yeah. So next, to page down. What I mean by page down is that, for example, this is the page we are now, and this is the next page. So what I mean by the next page, sorry, what I mean by what we want to do now is that, to move to the next page. To move to the next page, for example, let's come back to this level. 
if you want to move to this next page understand just click on page down if you want to go back to the previous page just click on page up you by page down page up this is page down and page up and this is page down if you want to move to the next page click on page down if you want to move to the previous page press page up good so you are done with that if you want to start new um area for another item of work press one first click on this page make it active press one for the area item of work cancel it if you want to click on i mean want to uh, work on linear item of work press two can you see linear if you want to work on segments this segment press three and you want to work on um count press four do you know that you can change all these one two three four by yourself so if you want to change this you want to change this command um the shortcut just come down to settings go to keyboard hot keys can you see now area one new new linear two new segment three and new count four so let us change this new area to seven let me use seven come down to home if you want to make it active, like I said, click on this um, page. Now, if you want to, now, if you change the um, new area from 1 to 7, right? First click on this page, now press 7. Can you see now? Because I've changed it to 7 instead of 1. Then, I'm going to change it back to 1 that is there already. One. Go back to me, click on it, press one again. Can you see? So now if you want to rotate this page to left or right, go to the search box, press R O C. If you want to rotate it to right, right side like this, right side, click on this. Let us check this uh in the information. Rotating page with objects on the page cannot rotate. Do you know the reason why it can't? Because we've already dimensioned in and uh, some, there are some items of work that we've done on it. Let's check this page now. Let's check this page. We haven't scaled it or work on it. So just come down to this search box. Click on R O T. Rotate to left to this side. Can you see? Me? Let's try it again. R O T. Put it to right. Can you see? Me? Once you've scaled and or well, you have uh, carried out some facts on it, it can rotate again. So next is um angle snap. That is auto. This auto, the function of this auto is that, for example, let me click on this linear. Press OK. Make sure that record mode is uh, um, on point to point mode. You will click on it. Can you see now? There is no any vertical and horizontal. Now, I mean, what I mean by that is that by the time you are dragging it, there is no any placement like the nine dozen position itself in an horizontal form or vertical form. So once you press the shortcut for Angle snap or auto is F8. Press F8. Can you see now? Can you see now? It stands horizontally. Understand? Until you move it. Touch the vertical aspect. Can you see now? It stands horizontally. Just click on F8 again. Can you see now? It can stand on its own at the vertical line. Touch the horizontal. Can you see? Just activate 
it back again f8 can you see now so the function of this f8 to make sure that the knife is on vertical and uh, horizontal position so the next is to magnify the area needed what i mean by to magnify the area needed is for example if you want to zoom out this area for example for, mm, for example here yeah, you want to um scale you want to scale this page to scale this page you have to zoom it out like this so that you're able to position it at the middle of the grid line and the other side so now in order to show the area that you want very well so now you want to magnify this area this area or anyone is either this area or this side so just press m you hold it you click on m and hold it can you see that as magnify it magnify it can you see now you're able to zoom it around but by the time you don't want that you zoom by pressing f10 the difference is that this m can move round, can move round to check what you want. It's coming see now. Just checking randomly. Can you see it now? You can zoom it out from one point to the other. Not like the normal zoom that we uh, press F10 that just show the actual area that is we crop out. But this one you move round to any area that you want. That's the difference. So the next is to create a bookmark for example if you want to create a bookmark for this page for this page or this page first come down to this page if you want to create a bookmark for this page just first click on this page then press b the name of the page let us use okay um just use love as a name. Create a snapshot. So you to be able to duplicate the, the meaning of this is that create snapshots and short means that you to be able to duplicate this page. If you duplicate it, click on it, press OK. Can you see? Can you minimize it? Oh, sorry. So this is nice enough. You want to check this love again. For example, for quick access. For example, if you are at this point and it's very difficult for you all to take your time to come down here to what will be mark to come down here to check some things on it so what you need to do is that once we are here just come down to this love you understand quick access just bring you down to what we bookmark that is the function of bookmarking um any page that you want a quick access to check one or two things or to take off for one or two things on the page that you bookmark the reference sorry to partners is um stop recording for example let me click on this in here stop recording starts from this start on this just start from this click on escape and not to stop click on escape let me delete this one so what means is um starts or stop point recording let me click on this menu click ok so to start or stop okay to stop point recording now just click on r click on r just check the name here I mean the area 
click on R again. Can you see? So now to start, for example, if we want to continue this point recording, want to click on it, first click on it, press R again. R can you see now? It continues from where you stop. If I say this one to press R, can you see now? It continues from where you stop. Press R again. I stop. So next is uh, to create a tick off section. For example, you click on this. Instead of you coming down to this area, instead of you coming down to this area, to, uh, to this um, record um, box area, yeah. instead of clicking on this, just press M, start new here. Not continuation of this one, like not continuation of this by pressing R like this. I'm coming, pressing R, it will continue from where we stop. That is uh, to start point recording. But this one to create is just to create new section. There's another section from this one. Just press N, get it. Click on this, press N, press now, press escape. So to draw or to take off for arc, take off for arc, click on area, click on area. So here we want to take off for arc, just click on A, click on A, press A, press A. Can adjust it to the desired um, diameter that you want. Can you see? Click on the point and press escape. To close linear or an arc or an area takeoff. Let me start with this area to close it. Can you see now? If you want to close this point to this point, just press um, C. That's the linear to If you want to close this, this last point with the starting point, if you want to close it, just bring it from this side, you can bring it to this side or anywhere, just click on C, for instance, it closes it automatically, it closes the starting point with the end point, and do it again, you want to close these three points together, starting point and the end point, just click on C, hope you get it. So, hope you understand all what I've explained to you. Thanks for watching.